my name is Shauna Spate Johnson and welcome to Studio A at Denver Open Media. I am a student at the Regis University in the Ma Master's Program for Nonprofit Management. I'm here on the Denver SOFI. SOFI stands for Service Oriented Field Experience. Today we'll be having a discussion about the SOFI and I'll be joined by members of the SOFI. It's Carla Kaplan Gomez. Hello. Claudia Venegas Hi. and Kevin Mullen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So let's start out our discussion by talking about the program itself. What is the SOFI program, Carla? Great. Well, the service-oriented field experience is a unique opportunity, really a culmination of practice, the theory, and what you were taught in our master's program. So it is a valuable opportunity to express and learn and engage your your colleagues as well as visiting nonprofits throughout the Denver area for opportunities for future collaboration. So why did you choose the Denver SOFI? Well working for Mikasa Resource Center, we are a capacity building resource center that provides skills and education to working low income families. So what that means to me is the SOFI is an opportunity to find out the many nonprofits in our area and how can we work together to enhance and meet our united vision. And welcome, Claudia. Mm, thank you. Why did you choose the Denver SOFI? The truth, I was not planning to be part of this program. I arrived in the last minute, uh, but I don't believe in coincidence. I believe in purpose, and now I know it was a purpose for me to be part of this beautiful program. Absolutely, and I'm glad you made it. Thank you. <laughs> Kevin, why did you choose the Denver SOFI? Yes, Shauna. Um, the organization at which I work, it's called Inner City Health Center here in Denver. And we are a regional organization providing health care services primarily to the uninsured and underserved. And we're always looking for opportunities to collaborate with mm -hmm. other organizations who are serving similar populations. And so I found the Denver SOFI to be a good opportunity to make new connections that will be beneficial to my organization and to our patients, as well as meet other colleagues mm -hmm. who are working in various different organizations uh, amongst similar populations. Absolutely, and you talk about Denver and working in Denver on the issues. Mm -hmm. During this week and the SOFI program, what issues have you been able to engage with directly? Wow, well, Shauna, there's so many, especially so many that affect Denver directly, such as housing, maybe food sources or access to fresh food. We had to visit the grow house. We also had a unique opportunity that I think I learned the most from and I wouldn't have had that opportunity unless I participated in the SOFI and that was visiting and touring the Immigration Detention Center. So that was begin, beginning to end learning process of how and what happens behind the scenes. I wouldn't have had that without the SOFI opportunity. Amen. And Claudia, for you, which issue or organization you visited this week will you um, consider the most impactful? Well, also uh, you experiment uh, sadness, unfair situations, uh, things that really broke your heart, break your heart. We have wonderful people mm -hmm. working for other people. They, they have skills, professional skills, but uh, it's not enough. We still need help. We still need hands. We still need talent. We still need gifts. We, we still need somebody else to be part of, of this kind of beautiful program, do something good for somebody else. And Kevin, for you, which issues did you re really resonate with you this week? Well, Shauna, working in healthcare, obviously that is an important um, issue for me. And one of the organizations that we had the opportunity to visit this week was Catholic Health Initiatives. Uh, whereas Inner City Health Center works more on a regional basis here in the uh, Denver metro area, Catholic Health Initiatives is providing healthcare services to people in need throughout the country. And the, the size and scope of their operation was very impressive but it was very impactful for me to learn how they balance being such a large organization and providing so many services in so many locations with ensuring that they're staying true to their mission uh, because at the end of the day that's what it's all about so um, that was a very 
impactful for me. Absolutely. Now, as part of the SOFI program, we actually got an opportunity to create a uh, public service announcement. So here at the Denver Open Media, we're going to take a look at that public service announcement right now. I used to see clients as numbers, but now I see them as mission partners. I used to see the differences in the other, but now I see the similarities in us. I used to think outside the box. Now I recognize there is no box. I used to strive to become a great leader, and now I want to empower others to become great leaders. I used to see myself as a leader, an advocate, and an ambassador, but just for my Latino community. But now, I see the real power in leadership is through education, collaboration, and a united vision. I used to be a passionate contributor to the causes that are important to me, but now I'm that and an advocate. Yo solía sentirme como víctima. Ahora siento que tengo el poder de motivar a otros. I used to have a dream. Now I have a vision. I know how to work for this vision with others for others. I used to wander aimlessly looking for my path. Now I know I've been on it all the time. I used to think I knew what people needed, and now I, I know they know what they need. I used to think that having a big heart was all it would take to make a difference. Now I realize that it's the hearts and mind of my entire community that it takes to make change. I used to think my experiences only shaped my present but now I know that my experiences and my knowledge can help inspire to change the world. I used to be frustrated at the constraints that I saw in my community, but now I see that my community is full of assets. I used to think there was too much to do, not enough time. I alone cannot make a difference. Now, the difference is what I will do with my time. Welcome back. Now let's continue our discussion with Carla, Claudia, and Kevin. So Claudia, tell me, what has been inspiring about this Sophie experience? Well, the people who are the leaders there. They are professionals. They have vision. They're working with somebody else with that, for that vision. But they have hearts. They have feelings. They believe and somebody else, and uh, they are humans. <laughs> yes, we are, <laughs> and yes, they are. <coughs> Kevin, would you consider recommending this program to anyone else? You know, I would. Um, in many graduate school programs, we expect to spend a lot of time doing research. We expect to spend time listening to lectures, um, we expect there's going to be a fair number of writing papers as a part of the program. However, here at Regis, the service-oriented field experience provides us the opportunity to marry the concepts of theory and actual on the ground um, being a practitioner, if you will. And so I believe that in this type of work, in working in nonprofit organizations, it's very important that we not only have the theory, but that we understand how things work on the ground. And so I believe that this program did a good job of helping us to uh, balance those, helping us to learn more about each side. And I would certainly recommend the program to any of my colleagues. And you said we and us quite a few times. And I have to tell you, being around like-minded people really enhanced the experience for me. How about you, Carla? Most definitely. I, this was a unique opportunity to be able to meet, listen, and work with colleagues from across Denver and right within the SOFI. But I also value and respect the diversity that each perspective brought, background, unique background, ideas, and perspective. And that's what I really take close to heart. And Claudia, if someone's out there considering this program, what advice would you have for them? <laughs> they can be a leader. Everybody can be a leader. And uh, limitations don't exist. 
You could follow your dream, you have to follow your dream, and you could make the dream of somebody else come true. Amen. <laughs> uh, Kevin, what do you think you'll take away from this experience? Well, there have been very um, several different uh, things that I've learned. I think one of the things that uh, kind of stands out for me is the importance of recognizing that we all must do what we can to be leaders wherever we are. Um, many of us ha hold different levels of responsibility in various different organizations throughout the community, but regardless of where we are on the organizational chart, if you will, we all have the responsibility to do what we can to be leaders where we are. And I think that's probably one of the most important things I would take away. Absolutely. Well, I certainly have enjoyed this engaging, empowering, inspiring, and informative conversation about the SOFI program here in Denver. It's a part of the Regis University. I want to thank you for joining us here at Denver Open Media. And to anyone out there who may be considering a life of social justice and impacting your community, I say to you, why not you? <laughs>